Beavers are the ultimate climate warriors. That's why we call them ecosystem engineers. Their dams reduce flooding, prevent droughts, capture carbon, purify water, and increase biodiversity. But they've been extinct in Britain for 400 years. Until recently. Beavers totally transform the landscape, creating whole ecosystems from scratch. And here's how they do it. Hi, I'm Heather Devi, and I work with beavers in Northern England. Now at the moment, we're at the Lowther Estate near Penrith in the Lake District, because last year they released two beavers into an enclosure as part of an enclosed trial release. And what has been brilliant is I've been coming to this site for the past year to monitor the impacts the beavers have had. And let me tell you, it is incredible. So it's all part of the estate returning the landscape to nature, giving over a little bit of control so that nature takes its own route and still continuing farming on the estate as well. Beavers and humans actually co-evolved. And in Britain, we coexisted with beavers right up until around 400 years ago. And we actually hunted beavers to extinction in the first place for their meat, for their fur, particularly for the hat industry. But instead of looking to the past, now we're looking to the future and how we can once again learn to live alongside beavers. Here we are at our first beaver feature. And where better to start than with a beaver dam? Now beavers are stimulated to create dams because they need around a meter's depth of water to feel secure. If they don't have that, they'll chop down some trees, they'll take the upper branches, and then they'll pull it into the water system and pack it in with mud and stones. And that's exactly what the Lowther pair did when they first arrived. Admittedly, this dam is a little bit humble, but from where it started in October last year, it's really increased in height and in length. And that's the brilliant thing about beaver dams. Beavers actually respond really quickly to changes in the environment. So they work with the water table. If rains increase, they might increase the height of dam. They might add a notch to let water through occasionally. But the overall prerogative of beavers is to hold water back. And to do that, they don't just create one dam, they create a really complex network within a wetland, and that creates a really dynamic ecosystem. That is why beavers are known as ecosystem engineers. They create these ecosystems entirely from scratch, and they do it for free. Not only do these beaver dams actually benefit beavers, they help with biodiversity overall. So birds benefit, fish benefit, small mammals, amphibians, freshwater invertebrates, a whole diversity of life. The wetlands beavers create, along with the silt that builds up behind dams, become massive carbon sinks. Wetlands are actually the most important habitat for carbon sequestration and could be our secret weapon for fighting climate change. And us included, because if you listen carefully, that trickling of water shows that the flow of water is going really slow through this beaver dam. And when it's a complex network of dams like this, it helps to slow the flow of water downstream. Some sites have actually found a 30% reduction in peak flow rates because of beaver dams, which is no bad thing. Other studies have found a 60% reduction. This is really important because it means that during storm events or heavy rains, the flow of water is slowed down by the complex network of dams, protecting what's downstream. For example, towns or villages. This holding back and slowing of water through the dam systems has another benefit. It helps filter out any potential harmful chemicals that can run into the waterways from agricultural fields or urban areas. Now any self-respecting engineer needs a really good toolkit and beavers come fully equipped. That's because they've been evolving this aquatic rodent lifestyle for millions of years. For example, they've got a rudder-like tail and webbed hind feet to help aid with their swimming. On top of that, their nostrils close wet their dive, as do their ears and a part of their mouth to prevent water from entering their bodies when they dive underwater. But there's another anatomical feature that really comes in handy when we go and have a look at this second feature. So on 
winter beaver feature at number two, and that is felled trees. Now, if you're in a beaver habitat, you're very likely to see these. Not only do the beavers need them to create their dams, they actually switch to a woody diet in the winter. Because beavers are herbivores, they eat vegetation and these woody trees as well. They don't eat anything else like fish. So when beavers actually coppice a tree, they need that other anatomical feature. And of course, that's their front teeth, their incisors. And if you've seen beaver teeth before, they're really bright orange. And that's because they're fortified with iron, really strong tools for the job of chopping through wood. Now, when the lava beavers arrived, this is the first tree that they actually set to work on coppicing. And as you can see, just after a year, there's a huge amount of regrowth. It grows back as a bit of a shrubby underlayer, which is brilliant for invertebrates, brilliant for small mammals, and really great as well for nesting birds because the shrubby habitat is actually quite rare to come by when it comes to succession in these kinds of habitats, the wetlands. So let's head on to their transport networks to create these systems. And that is feature number three. Now the third feature that not many people are aware of that beavers create are channels and they create these by digging them out with their forefeet and these are brilliant networks for other species too such as amphibians and fish. Now when it comes to fish and beavers it's been shown that beaver bulls actually greatly benefit fish mass and diversity in age. So these networks actually act as transport channels for wildlife but also for the beavers to drag their building materials through. Of course, beaver impacts are going to vary according to each site. And in some situations, we will need to work with them, such as installing tree guards to protect trees or putting floor devices through dams to alter the height of water. But with enclosed trial releases and free living beavers around parts of Britain now, it's really important that we work together to welcome back nature's ally to join our battle against the impacts of climate change and the biodiversity crisis.